wow, well, we have it really working well for one student. Now to go to the next step, and that is have it so that we can do this for multiple students. And so that for that, we're going to need to add some more stuff. Uh, so let's look at this. We're going to have to ask first, how many students? And when we do that, after we have the number of students, we're going to have to instantiate our name array and our scores array, at least the outside loop of our scores array. So in order to do that, we're going to want to break this up. We want to go ahead and declare our array. And but we're going to want to instantiate it after we've got the information. So So let's go ahead and move our code around a little bit here. And we're also going to have to have a um, integer that's going to be the number of um, uh, the number of students we're going to enter. So. We're going to have to have an integer to pass to the array for the number of grades. Okay, I think we've got all the declarations done here. And right here now we're going to have to, um, in order to get the information to de redeclare our arrays, we have to collect some information. Uh, and to collect information, what do we have to have? We have to have our um, scanner input. So we have to, because we have this as a separate method here, uh, remember these um, these live and die with the method. So when I call this method, it starts us up, fires it up, uses it, and then dies here. And so when I start my main method, I can have it in my main method also. So let's go ahead and um, create the scanner input here also. And so let's go ahead and ask the question. So and so let's go ahead and uh, And say our okay, as soon as we get the number of students. We can instantiate our two variables here. So let's go ahead and change this from 1 to the number of students. And again, we're just instantiating the outer array on our scores. OK. And then, after we've got the number of students, then we can start a loop and say for the number of students, let's collect their names. So, and I always like using the in case I decide to uh, do something else or change something. use this code in some other uh, 
capacity. And so the first thing you want to do is ask for the student's name. So And now we're going to get a string input, so we can assign that directly to name. Okay, so we've collected our first, uh, the name of our first student here, so we can go ahead and get rid of this, this here, because we know that we've got names coming in for our students. And then after we collect the name for the first student, we need to ask for how many grades they want, right? So let's go ahead and ask for the how many grades they want. Okay, once we have how many grades they want, we can actually pass that number directly to the function. So this is going to be So we can uh, go with scores. Okay, so we're going to sign that, uh, and we should be good there. So that collects our scores. We can wipe that off of our list of sample things. And then the last thing when we're done is we want to print the scores out. So we do our four loops, and let's run through this one time here. We're going to have, uh, we're going to ask for how many students. Select the number of students and assign that number into our um, into our arrays. And then we're going to uh, collect all the information. How many grades do you want? It's going to loop for each one of the. Uh, and so all we have to do now is print them out. So we do a for loop here. And we can just change the 0 to P. Run it and see how he works. Welcome to the grade. How many students you want to collect grades for? Let's say 2. Please enter the name of student 1. Bah, how many grades? Let's do 3. Grade number 1. Name of student two. How many grades? Let's do four, five.
All right, so here we go. Bob's grades are this, his average is this, Sally's grades are this, his average is this. I think we've met our dimensions. Now what we have is a ragged array. We have different numbers of grades for the, each student, and we've created a parallel multidimensional array. We've created two functions. The only thing that we're not doing is we're really not doing rounding on the, uh, doing rounding on that. That would just be using the number format function, or creating a function and uh, using the number format on it. So there we go. I think I'm about out of time on this video. I hope that's helped a lot, and I hope that explains some efficiencies to create use methods to make our life easier in creating a program.